Dude, you're gonna kill yourself. It's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm leaving this crap. I should have bought it yesterday. It was 247 in my town. It's 265 here. I guess I made a mistake. So now I'm paying for it. 18 cents doesn't seem like much, but when you have a 40 gallon tank, it adds up. Best thing about a diesel, come inside, warm up, and watch the range go up. I've only gone about 20 miles. I think the first 20 miles are gonna be the worst. We saw a lot of snow on the hill, but now all this traffic, we're not gonna see much snow on the throughway. Good morning. Thank you. It's already getting greener and we're not even out of New York yet. We're almost at the PA line. truck sounds louder. Now I don't know exactly what state I'm in. I don't know if I'm in Ohio or Pennsylvania, but they do have wonderful road conditions. Am I in uh, Pennsylvania or am I in Ohio? You're in Ohio. He's Duramaxin. So am I. Usually I lock my truck every time I get out of it, but I had to go to the bathroom so bad that I just, I, I turn it off and I went, man. Not like in here, like in there, but still, that means I really had to go. TMI, 152 so far. Also got a snack as well. Look at the beautiful Ohio weather. No wonder why Roman Atwood's always so happy. Look at the clouds, look at the blue sky. I've gone 255.9 miles. I believe I'm still in Ohio. It smelled really good in there, and they did have a lot of good snacks. The only thing is, is they aren't healthy snacks, and I don't need anything making me groggy. For some reason, I can't pin what I was trying to say is you can't pin the fuel nozzle. I can't just, I can't pull it all the way and then lock it. For some reason it doesn't go. Luckily there's like three notches on each gas thing. So I do the lowest notch and then it flows. It's not as fast, but at least it doesn't stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. I turned my heat off in Pennsylvania, I believe. I think I have an exhaust leak. Not only is my exhaust louder, but when I had the heat on, it was like blowing diesel fumes in here, which is not good. So when I get down south, I'll be sure to look at it. How many miles have I gone? 362 miles I've gone. I have to say the weather is warmer here. It is windier though. It's dragging my truck all over the place. And this is a heavy truck. It weighs 6,000 pounds, plus all the crap I have. She was definitely thirsty. I think it's time to bust out the shades. That's a nice looking power stroke. That's what I originally wanted to get before I bought my Duramax. That truck right there. 
Looks nice. My grandmother gave me my new shades. I appreciate them. I look fly. Like I always do. Let's make it there safely. I know you can get us there. I've been driving for eight and a half hours. I got out of my truck, I wanted to walk around and do a little bit of shopping. I'm gonna get some baby water. The sun is going down in whatever state I'm in. I'm just in for the ride, literally. What the hell? What the hell? Where the hell did my seat go? Where did my seat go? It was right here. It was on there. I saw it flapping in the wind. I guess it flapped a little too much. Looks like so is this. I hope she makes it. We still got like 300 miles to go. I lost another drain pan. I had two, this one and another one. And then this thing came untied somehow. What the hell? How did this even happen? It went down here, through here. I don't even know how the heck to get this out. That goes there, okay. Okay, pull that through. Holy smokes, how did that even happen? I'll have to tie that up pretty good. Look at how beautiful that sun is. I love it down here in the south. I'm gonna have to move here. Gorgeous. I'm sorry if that time lapse wasn't the best. The tripod was sitting on the back of my truck and I was doing my thing in here, you know, moving stuff. But then this guy parked in my way. But I did end up getting a little bit of a snack and I tied up that, I don't even know how that ratchet strap did what it did. My shopping experience started out healthy, but then when I came to the end, I got some deep fried, where are these things? Deep fried chicken, honey mutt, honey barbecue. Honey barbecue. They're delicious, but they probably will kill you definitely will kill you. You guys will not believe what I just got. Well, maybe you will. I don't get out much. I don't leave the big city of Buffalo. So I'm finding all sorts of interesting things. Look what I just found. Dippin' Dots in a bag. And my favorite flavor, Banana Split. Some amusement parks don't even carry this flavor. I had to buy it. And if I had a cooler with me, I probably would have bought a dozen of them. And let's see if it tastes the same. You have got to be kidding me. This is awesome. This makes the entire trip right here. Just this tiny little thing. I think I'm past Nashville, Tennessee, going south. I know the traffic sucked, but without that, I wouldn't have found these dipping dots. I'm a happy, happy guy. And this guy is a happy, happy camper. At least I would be if I owned that camper. Traffic was flowing extremely nice in Ohio, but unfortunately, I was running low on fuel. My truck said I only had like 80 miles to go before I ran out of fuel, before I completely ran out. And I was in the middle of farm country, so I didn't want to risk it, so I pulled over. I was following a dude, he was doing like 90 miles an hour the whole way. 
And I'm like, okay, I love this guy. I followed him for like 15 miles. I saw that on my dash and I like cried. So unfortunately, everybody else isn't as fast as that guy. So I'm kind of just following the speed limit. This gas station is extremely sophisticated. No, not just because they have dip and dots. But they also have TV. You don't see that where I'm from. I'm here with Do It With Dan. Solid. I made it down to Georgia. Do you have a CB radio? Yeah, you well, it's, it's actually a siren, but you don't want to mess with that right now because it'll make all sorts of noises. How loud? And it's already late. So How loud is it? It's pretty say? loud. It's Oh, it's a, you have a, a PA system. Yeah, yeah, it's a PA oh, system. Oh, that's hella illegal. I mean, you could probably hook it up to CB, but... We'll play with it as soon as we get to the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah, and and probably the same with the gas. Gas? Yeah, when we give her some juice and oh, yeah. make some noises. Well, she should be pretty warm. I mean, we just went uh, how many miles? I think diesels are cool, though. Yeah, they're de they're beneficial. So I left I left at eight twenty in the morning. I think. I, what time did I get here? You got here at like right at ten o'clock. You want to rack some shades, dude? Yeah, in the middle of the night. That's yeah. Awesome. You wear your sunglasses at night. There you go. Sun. Okay. Let's let's. I uh, I, actually, I can see totally fine with these on. That's good. Where are we going here, Dan? Uh, you're just gonna leave the neighborhood. Try not to hit my. Uh, I don't know if I got the shot, but we're gonna try. Get the shot. Make sure you get the shot. shot. You're taking up two spots. Just I like a diesel to. owner. I have to, man. Not it, com it comes in the manual like that. <laughs> Wait, what? Dude, I was not expecting it to Wait, just do that. you want to do it again? Uh, hold on. Of course I want to do it again. You want to do it again right, right here? Right. Like, right. in front of all the people that we're about to eat next yeah, to? Right. Just, so you just you just flip it? Yeah. <laughs> like that. I don't know. <laughs> I so need one of these yeah. to my vet. <laughs> Oh yeah, so we went to Steak and Shake. Shake, Shake and Steak? Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake. I can't believe you've never been to Steak and Shake. I've never been to Steak and Shake. I don't think we have them up north. If we do, somebody will correct me in the comment section below. So we eat, and I have the receipt in my hand, and Dan is a total dickhead, and tears it out of my hand, and then I tears it. I asked for it, and you're like, yeah, here you go. And I was like, boom, mine, Rari. And then he paid for the meal. What the hell? Yeah, well, you know, He's well, letting me crash at his house and he won't even let me pay for a meal. What the hell's wrong with him? That's, that's southern, that's called what? Southern hospitality? Sure. Yeah. I like it down here. I'm gonna have to come down here more often. Yeah, well you don't have to deal with snow. You don't have to deal with a million white pounds of bullshit every year. And we chirp cop sirens everywhere. Yeah. Sounds like a good time. And all you have to do is just flip the switch <laughs> and then it turns into cop sirens. That's right. right. I think you can go left out of here. It says do not enter. I, oh my goodness. Oh lord, what an inconvenience, eh? Yes. <laughs> Did I do it right? Dan's playing with fire. He just he was just spraying <laughs> brake cleaner. Now we're gonna so blow great. up. No, this is see look, this is, <laughs> is this the is this the flame? Dude, you're gonna kill yourself. Oh, yeah, that was flammable. That, oh! You're burning your That one's flammable. I forget that yeah, it's that... the chlorinated that's not flammable. That's right. Just let it burn. It's fine. <laughs> See, they make they make the chlorinated and the non-chlorinated. Dude, you almost caught yourself on fire. I te well, technically, I did. you did. It was, was like, you're, oh, you're yeah. burning your shoe. I'm glad we, I didn't touch the bike with this. We came up with a game plan, though. Hopefully, we're gonna work on this tomorrow. I mean, what what needs to be done, Dan? You said a kill switch. Kill switch, headlight, and uh, somehow we'll probably have to weld up some sort of fastener for the brake light. I wanna I wanna cut this little tail piece off here, and then fix the brake light here. Okay. But one thing's for sure, I'm tired. I drove a long ways. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. Oh boy, shake. Yeah. Well, let's see what yeah. You Bang. Bang. <laughs> now he's alive. What a good dog. And now you're alive because you've been revived. It's bedtime. Yeah, very much so. Are we going to sleep together? Mm -hmm.